Okay guys, today I'm going to be talking about adsorbents and I did two related labs to this. So first of all, do you guys know what adsorbents are? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so there's a kind of slight difference between adsorbents and absorbents. So adsorbents are surface-based and absorbents are volume-based. So basically adsorbents is kind of like adhering to the surface of like the material and absorbents is absorbing into like the whole volume. So adsorbents are used in many places, like the activated carbon, which is a type of adsorbent, are used for wastewater purification or air filtration, and even for uh, oil spills. Yeah. <laughs> so the type of bondings can like adhere to like van der Waals, nonpolar, polar, electrostatic forces, or even like covalent. All of them can adhere to. Them. So. Do you remember how Shanghai had like a really bad air quality last spring, was it? Yeah, and then that, I, I was kind of shocked. And then our family was not prepared for that weather, so we didn't have any masks. And I had to go find like those, you know, those Japanese masks that are really good for Chinese dust. And I went around like three or four shops and I couldn't find them. And then I found one that was like extremely expensive. So I had that like kind of maybe stupid question of, oh, I should try to make my own mask. <laughs> I was searching online and then it was really hard so I didn't. But anyways, so that kind of led me to my experiment which is like exploring how masks are made. So most of the time masks and air filtration are used adsorbents and they use activated carbon which is kind of like graphite but then they have tiny holes in there so a lot of the dust and stuff can be yeah, adhered to those. And so my air purification lab used three types of adsorbents, which is zeolite, aluminum oxide, and calcium carbonate. And as you know this graph, this is just to show you the, you know, you guys all know this, right? The AQI numbers <coughs> in 2.5. So these are kind of my diagrams of my lab. So I prepared two of these AQI measurements, and then basically I have this kind of clear box. I'll say, and each side I'll put one, and then in between I'll put that cloth where I put the adsorbents, and I dry it. So that's kind of like my mask, I'll say. And so I did an experiment on the change in, so I'll light a fire with like paper, and then I'll make it go up to 600 AQI measurement, mm -hmm. and then I'll start pumping air from this side to the other side and you'll see how there's a clock, right? And then, so I'll see a change in the number of value of the other side. Yeah. And so the results came out actually nicely because there were some effects of zeolite. So I did three trials with three different independent variables. And as you can see, calcium carbonate and aluminum oxide didn't really have that much difference to the 600 AQI on the other side, so it's like 450 or 595. But then zeolite actually did have a lot, like a kind of effect, because it only went up to 50. And the units is, I think, micrograms per millimeter cubed. So this kind of made me thought about like the effect of zeolite as an adsorbent and how that can like evolve, evolve, like involve into kind of the mask making or even air filtration. Most of the time, zeolite is used in water purification systems, but I definitely think that, in fact, nowadays, uh, there's a lot of research on making this zeolite nano sheet. It's kind of like carbon nano sheets, but then they're using zeolite out of it, and it's nano scale, like micro micro scale. So it can actually become like a potential material for making masks and air filtration. Yeah, so that was like one lab that I did. And the second lab I did was, I was really, happy about my adsorbent <laughs> lab, so I wanted to do something more. And now I went into bioadsorbents. So these are basically lemon, rice, banana peel, and yeah, all these different biomass like peels, and I crush them. If you were in my class, you would have seen me like in the back of the classroom just crushing these peels. And these can actually act as adsorbents. You know how in orange peels they have these tiny holes? And they can actually absorb. So I thought about the water desalination process of having seawater turn into clean water by absorbing the salt. And I use that to see the effect of 
absorbents and the change in conductivity of NaCl solution. So I'll put them in and see the change in how much they absorb the salt. And in fact, lemon peel had like a huge effect in absorbing because the conductivity changed a lot. So this kind of shows that these most of like waste materials that we don't think of it as important can actually become like a key, maybe, to the water desalination process. And if not the bioabsorbents, but the zeolite nano sheets, they can actually be like a potential field of research where we can see how we can desalinate in like an effective way. Thank you.